you analyze it, all talk show hosts, whether going all the way back to Jack Parr, who got in trouble for simply saying a joke with the initials WC in it, up to Conan O'Brien two weeks ago with Triumph, the insult comic dog, you know. Ultimately, all of us say or do something on the air that gets us in trouble with the public. And I'd like to tell you the story of the one time when I was lucky enough to get myself in some really hot water. We were doing a show on plastic surgery, and we had assembled a panel of guests who had had plastic surgery. Like on the end, a woman who had liposuction, a man who had had a tummy tuck, a woman who had a complete facelift and a neck lift, a man who had had his ears put back like this. And at the very end of the panel, next to me, was a woman who had had breast implants. And she had had a very large installation of breast implants. <laughs> and she was wearing, on top of the, that, a white Angora sweater. So if you're the audience like looking at the panel of people like assessing the plastic surgery, most eyes are sort of riveted at those enchanted implantments, you know, and the guy's ears are a distant second. <laughs> so I'm there doing my thing, interviewing the various people about, about their plastic surgery. And I came to the woman who had the breast implants, who, by the way, is a really beautiful woman, violet eyes. She looked like a young Liz Taylor. And I was asking her, the, I think, the basic questions that most hosts would ask somebody who has had breast implants, you know, self-esteem issues, the decision to have it. And then this question comes into my mind. When, when it came into my mind, it just seemed like the most logical question to ask at the time. I said to her, you know, I am curious about something. Uh, in terms of your husband or uh, your boyfriend uh, during intimacy, uh, how is he responding to how your uh, new breasts feel? And she said, well, Bill, I, I'm not married and I, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> So no one's actually felt them yet. So I said, oh, no one's felt them yet. That's right, Bill. No one's felt them yet. Then there was this moment. There was a moment. When I looked at her. She looked at me. I looked at them. And they looked at me. And she said to me, she said to me, would you like to feel my breasts so that you can tell your viewers what breast implants are like? So I said, well, as part of my journalistic pursuit, yes, I'll do that. So I reached over, and I put my hand on this very large breast. And in an animated way, I am trying to explain to viewers what it feels like. Now, while I'm doing that, two things are happening. One, a photographer who's up in the gallery in the, of the bleachers, continues to take photographs. He's been taking them for the plastic surgeon, who's his client. And two, there's a total meltdown of the telephone system at the station. <laughs> so many people called the instant that my hand went on that breast that the general manager, who was in the first floor, called up and could not get through to the control room and literally was running up five flights of stairs to get to the studio. And the messages, I still have some of them, they one of those little pink things, you know? Messages like, he should be wearing gloves. Let him feel up his own girlfriend. I thought he was gay. So the show ends, and I am in massive trouble. Massive, massive trouble, right? The general manager calls me into his office. He says, Bugs, I don't know what I'm going to do to you. I don't know if I'm going to fine you. I don't know if I'm going to fire you. I don't know what kind of apology you're going to make. And I am arguing back, like that I have done a public service here, explaining this. He said, let me ask you this, Mr. Public Service. If there had been a man on the show today who had had a penis enlargement, would you have felt that? No. So anyway, they laid me off work for three days. I had to make a big apology. It was very embarrassing. It was in all the papers. Then about two weeks go by. Everything is, life as we know it has resumed. Everything seems normal. And then there is a huge color photograph in the National Enquirer, right? <laughs> With the caption, New York talk show host feeling good. 